Hello everyone, Monty here. Today I'm going to teach you how to make my turkey chili in a slow cooker in my um, cro electronic uh, crock pot. I'll show you that in a minute. So right now we're going to start. This is the insert that goes into the electronic um, crock pot. And what I love about this is I can take this out, I can chop all my stuff, throw it into here, and then put it into the crock pot. Um, I also like the, 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 I came up with this idea of not browning the meat first because I'm cooking it for five hours in the slow cooker. And um, then I don't have to worry about all these different pans. I'm just, this is the only pan I have to clean when I'm done making the chili. That's what I love about it. So there's a little prep. You gotta rinse the beans off and you gotta chop the onion and the garlic and, the, and open some cans of tomato and the beans and the beer. Uh, but it's not too bad. And this, last, this chili lasts me all week long and I give half to my mother and she splits hers with Marva. So three people are eating this chili all week long. I probably get like four or five servings myself because I like a big portion. And then they're having a couple of servings, the two of them, during the whole week. So this is part of my, my food prep. Every week I make my turkey chili. So let's get started. I start with the Jenny O um, ground turkey. I use the 93%, I don't use the 99% because a little of the extra fat will give you extra flavor and the calorie difference is not that different. So I'm gonna open these and uh, I'm just gonna put them into this container. Throw out these things while I do it. The next one, so it's it's two one pounds. So it's two pounds of turkey chili. And again, this is not all for me. It'll go to my mom and Marva as well. And then with my uh, electronic crock pot, I call it the slow cooker, came this little plastic thing, and I just start chopping it up a little bit because when you cook it first in the um, when you you know those people who do like to brown it first, that's when it comes apart. And this chili will have a little bit of chunks in it when it's done, but I try and chop it up as much as possible. I just learned by doing that when I didn't break it up like this, it was so many big chunks. And then we'll mix it up again when we put all the ingredients on and that'll help break it up as well too. But what I like about this is I can put it in the electronic crock pot and I don't have to worry about it. Like I'm gonna go for a walk after this and it'll turn itself off when it's ready so, and, and keep it in warm mode. And it's like, I don't have to worry about it. And if I'm in the office, now we're gonna cook it for five hours. Even though I'm going out for a walk, it won't be ready in time. But let's say I need to work on my website today. I'll be in my office working. And when this thing will beep, if I don't hear it, it turns it off from cooking, puts it in warm mode, and it's fine to sit however long until I'm ready to take it out of the crock pot and put it into plastic storage containers. Okay, so I broke that up pretty good. The next thing I'm gonna do is, I usually put cannelloni beans in but um, I didn't have any today, so I had navy beans. I forgot to buy some. And there's, navy beans are smaller, but you know they taste similar to the cannelloni, so they're fine. So I opened two cans of these. It's two 15-ounce cans. Sometimes I buy the big cans of beans, you know, whether beans I'm using the cannelloni, I get 30 ounces, and I'll just use one can. But so you want 30 ounces of the beans. So I'm gonna pour those in. Then I'm gonna do the same thing, 15-ounce can of this is crushed tomatoes. I usually use organic beans. I use organic, those of you who know me, I try to do everything organic. Organic um, crushed tomatoes, no salt added, uh, that I bought at Whole Foods, the 365 brand. So we're gonna put two of these in. Put two of those in. So it's 15 and 15, or you know, two 30 ounce big cans if you have uh, both the beans, equal uh, 30 ounces of the beans, 30 ounces of the crushed tomatoes. Then I've even made it with tomato sauce and it comes out good. Then I've got like a half a medium onion chopped. I'm gonna put in there, medium to large onion. I've got about six cloves of chopped garlic. I'm gonna throw that in. All right, and then we're ready for our spice. Um, I like it very spicy. I, you know, but my mom doesn't. So I make it not really spicy and then when I'm heating it up in the microwave, I put in some crushed red pepper because I like it when I start sweating and crying. That to me is when it's good, you know? So I'm only gonna use a quarter of a teaspoon of cayenne pepper because any more than that will be too much for my mom and she won't be able to handle it. So I'm gonna put the quarter teaspoon of cayenne pepper. And then I bought all these organic spices. I just ran out of chili powder, so I bought on Amazon. It came the next day, organic chili powder because I'm going through a lot of this, you use a tablespoon, a heaping tablespoon of the chili powder. Okay. And then 
I'm gonna use the sea salt. I put like 20 something twists in there. And I use the pink Himalayan sea salt. And I use pink Himalayan sea salt because I think it tastes better, but also because I stopped using regular table salt years ago. My father had high blood pressure, so we never really were into salt. But um, I read an article that most regular white table salt, salt has lots of bad stuff in it. Go Google it and read the articles, fillers and all kinds of other stuff in there. So uh, in the way they process it, you don't wanna be using that. Uh, natural sea salt, or but I like the pink Himalayan. I also read that the pink colored is because it has a nutrient in it. So you're actually getting a little bit of nutrients in this. With table salt, you usually don't hardly get hardly any nutrients. All right, and then the last thing I put in is a beer, kind of considering what's going on in the world, I'm using Corona. <laughs> I had this left over from a party, so I thought I would use it. I don't use the whole bottle, but I use like almost all the bottle and I just put it in, I played with it. I feel like I used the whole bottle, it was a little watery, so like maybe like uh, three fourths, a little bit more than three fourths of the bottle I use. Um, if I wasn't gonna go work out today, I'd probably drink that right now, but I'm going to work out, so I don't. Again, to make this a low carb version, which I was doing a low carb diet a couple weeks ago, I made this exact recipe, minus the beer, minus the beans, and it was fantastic still. So it'll still be good. Now I'm ready, I've got all my ingredients in, and I just um, mix it up. Remember, I've got all that meat that's, uh, and now when you're mixing it, it's starting to separate. And there you go, it's so easy. So now it's ready to go in. That's why I love this, it's so easy to make. I put it in, I always think of that commercial, set it and forget it. So you set the time and you just forget about it. And uh, it could sit for hours. If you're running out doing errands or something, you can sit for hours in the warm mode, it'll be fine. Of course, I, I'm funny about that. I never wanna leave any appliance on when I'm not home for very long. If I ran to the store down the street real quickly with this, yes, but I wouldn't leave for hours. But you could, and I know people who do, and you just line up the arrows, it's real simple, and you turn it to lock, and then you just push the slow cook button. I have to turn the power on first, that would help. Oh, there we go cord is so short I'm using a little extension cord. So this is the crock pot version. I bought this on Amazon. It's an eight quart crock pot version. Um, it's about $80, uh, $99 I think it was. I just bought my friend one. It's very big. So you, I have a very big pantry. If you don't have a big pantry, you may not want to get this. I actually gave it to a friend for a birthday present and she said she's not going to use it. And I told her to give it away, you know, to donate it someplace because she said it's just too massive and it scared her. I'm like, okay, <laughs> whatever. But I have a huge pantry and this won't even fit on any of my shelves except the top shelf, but I put it on the floor in the corner because I don't, I don't want to be grabbing something so big from the top. And um, so when you turn it on, there's a slow cook button and you just push the slow cook button. It'll default for four hours. You push it up twice to five hours. That's what I like to cook it for five hours. I read an article a long time ago. Somebody did it for five hours and it does. It comes out amazing. And then just put start. And it really is set it and forget it. So five hours, this will be done and I'll be ready to put it into um, storage container. I like it cool for like maybe 40 minutes with the top off. And then um, I'll, I'll take a soup ladle and put it into all the different storage containers. Half for mom and Marva, half for me. And then I have chili all week long. I love to put the chili either, I, I either eat it just as a bowl. And remember I told you when I warm it up in the microwave, I warm it up with crushed red pepper because I like it spicy. And then sometimes I put it on top of um, uh, spaghetti squash, a, a very healthy restaurant in Boca Raton that I used to go to, um, uh, Fit Foods. That, they, did, they, had that, they had that on the menu and I loved it, so I'm, I'm mimicking that. Um, I've also put it on other kinds of noodles. I put it on the hearts of palm pasta and um, it's, just, it's just so delicious and it's so good for you. As you can see, all healthy ingredients, nothing bad. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let this cook for the five hours, then I'll turn uh, the camera back on when it's ready and show you what it looks like. It really is beautiful and it's delicious, nutritious, and again, there's nothing bad in here. So I'll turn the camera back on when it's ready. Okay guys, the chili is ready and it looks really good and this is what I'm having for dinner. So um, again, it took about five hours and uh, I'm gonna have to go and weigh this on my scale, but basically it's about 40 calories per ounce. So usually I have 10 calories, it's about 400 calories. 
and look how delicious that looks. So I hope you enjoyed my video on learning how to make my turkey chili. Just remember again, if you want to do a low carb version, carb version, just don't put in the beer or the beans. We'll hope you enjoyed learning how to make my turkey chili.